Now here is my dilemma. When I get this centered on the dial board, you can see that the hole is just slightly visible there. Now when I look at it close up, I can see it, but I'm just sort of wondering, is that actually going to be noticeable? Or will it sort of look like maybe part of the dial board? I don't know what to do at this point. It is going to be a lot of extra work to have to, uh, you know, turn down a dial ring. Yeah, well, I can make up a dial ring. I've done it before, probably five or six in all. It's very finicky, make it out of segmented pieces. However, it takes about three days. I think it might be a lot easier here if I just tried to mix up some sort of uh, epoxy sawdust type concoction and fill that hole and I do realize that I'm going to have to uh, sand down the dial board a little bit and uh, refinish it but it'll probably be just a one day process here instead of three or maybe more days and then have the risk of the uh, dial ring breaking on me when I'm all done. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's more than enough. Now, I don't want to accidentally be plugging up the wrong one here, so this is the top. This was the one that was exposed, or half of it anyway. Okay, I think if it goes down about a eighth of an inch there, or maybe a little less. That should be okay. Now I've taken the screw back out. And the reason being is I'm thinking if I put just a little bit of grease on the end, just a little bit, there's gonna be less of a chance that the epoxy is gonna stick to the end. And when I back the screw out, it's gonna pull my epoxy plug with it. Anyway, that's the plan. Now I realize that it's really hard to keep something that is really light and really dark properly exposed both at the same time. And I want to keep in mind I've only got about three or four minutes working time with this stuff. Okay, now the tricky part. Now I wonder if I should try and wipe that off so it's level or just sand it flush later. What I did was I wiped it in the direction of the dial so that if there's going to be uh, any smudges it's going to be covered by the dial anyway. Now another thing that I did was I was noticing that it was pretty shiny there even though the color wasn't too bad. It could have been a little darker. So I sprinkled a little bit of sawdust on there. And uh, hopefully that's going to, after I blow it off, it'll be just right. Well, once again, we'll see what we've got in a few minutes here. Now I'm going to give it just a touch with the wipe on poly here.
I think that should all blend in nicely. Just sort of feather it out here a bit. I think I better let this wipe on poly here cure just a bit longer, like overnight. And tomorrow morning we'll assemble most of the case. We should be able to see more or less what it's going to look like. But that'll be tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. You too, Jackson.